So you can create the netlist over here and then press simulate. And you see, you already get um, like, if there's no errors, so it finished successfully. Here's some, some output, which in GSpice version is. And if you don't add a quit in the, uh, the last line, you always get this uh, command line, this in GSpice um, console, so to say. And there I will show you two important or a few important commands. So for now, if you don't really already know one, what to plot, you can just like, for example, run, run your simulations here as we did now. And now we can use the set command. And this plots all the variables that were created using the set command. And there are some um, predefined ones, for example, you see here plots, current plot, and like a plot is like, it's not actually like a visual representation of your signals. It's like, if you do a simulation here in this um, scripting language or scripting control section, and GSpice will like do the simulation and then save all the outputs um, in a so-called plot. And so we did an OP operating point, a DC and a transient. And now, if you want to access the results, you need to activate the right to the plot that you want. Now we're in transient one because transient one was the last simulation that we ran. So you can use now the display command to show all the vectors that are saved here. You see we have in out as our input and output nets called, then we have a time vector current through the V1 and V in current sources and the VDD net. And yeah, so we can already like, for example, plot some signals. For example, plot in and out. If you enter, you see you have this inverted so input signal is this rectangular and the output is the inverted one. And you can just like zoom in if you like drag and hold the, the right mouse button. Yeah, you see. Just if you have like a lot of plot windows, you can just like close this terminal or this console and everything will close as well. And if you want to now maybe access the DC uh, sweep results, we need to change the plot. So we type set plot DC one. And if you now uh, type set again, we see that our current plot has changed to DC one. And there's also the OP1 and cons plot. And cons plot is basically where all there's some constants predefined and also where we defined our like signal parameters. So if we now be in DC1, if we do set plot const and do display here, you see there's some predefined um, constants you can use and also our FSIG our T period and so on. So you can just, for example, type print F stick and yeah, it's the one kilohertz that we defined ourselves before. So instead of plotting here in this terminal, of course, you could just close it down and add some plots directly here. So we, for example, select the DC one and then say plot out. Or you can also first define like a name for the signal. For example, let v out equals out. You can directly use the net label, or you can also type um, v. So you want the voltage of this net, and then type v out. And then we also want to do this with the transient uh, results. So here we have v out across v of out and v in as well and then we just for example we can also plot like the current through the through the uh, voltage source here so we have i vdd it's v1 branch and now we can just plot v out v in and i vdd and yeah so if we 
create a netlist and simulate again. We get now, oh, now we see we only got the DC one because there was an error. So we need to fix this. You see here, the in of course does not exist, only in. So we simulate this again. And here we see the results of the transient as well. And now we can zoom in here and you can see yeah, that the orange line, the current is so small because it's yeah, probably some micro amps. So we need to scale this up. So now we have like a lot of plots. You can just close them all by pressing, by closing this window. And so we can like scale this up. And since the branch current is like defined, it's po like it's defined positively if current is flowing into this plus terminal. So it will be negative if you plot it like this. So we add like a negative sign. You can also create netlist over here, by the way. And now if we zoom in, you see here this small current spike in this transition region when the inverter switches. So that's where, where some current is flowing. You could also like add some, of course you didn't add any load now. So it's yeah, simple to drive. And yeah, what, so we covered the DC and transient uh, simulation results. We also did a operating point simulation. So you can like access them as I've shown you before through this terminal. And then of course you can plot it, you can print it, but it's more nice if we could like annotate it in the schematic. And therefore, first of all, we need to save the output correctly so we here we type set plot op1 so that the right command actually uses the operating point results and then we will get another symbol a so-called launcher launcher and so we can yeah, press Q for the properties. Now we don't need Google here. We add some description and rotate OP. And now you need a tickle command, which I've prepared for this tutorial. So I'll just copy that. And here we have the tickle command that we need. Pressing OK. And now we simulate again. And now since we've saved the op operating point results, you can just hold down the control button and pressing like and left clicking on this launcher symbol. And here we go. We have like the operating point or the DC values annotated. And you may wonder why we have zero volts here, although we have defined the 3.3 volts in the symbol, but of course, we changed it later on here with the auto command. So we have zero volts at the input and 3.3 volts at the output. And another, before we uh, finish this tutorial, you can also, for example, if you want to now uh, this redesign your circuit, you just like select here your symbol, you descend with E, for example, now we could like scale up this PMOS to so two times the width, for example, then you save it. You press Ctrl E for going back one level above to a um, test bench. Now we can do like simulate again. And for example, here you can see if you remember it before, the transfer, DC transfer was like shifted more towards um, smaller input voltages here, transition region, and now it's almost in the middle of our VDD. So yeah. this was a short or like first uh, dive into XGIM and, and GSpice. I hope you've enjoyed it. And next up, we'll be doing the layout with a K layout. So thanks for watching.